I have just a few minutes to show you this lens with a full frame and with a crop sensor camera, the Canon R6 and the Canon R7. And then I'm gonna have to return it to its owner. I'm already wasting too much time. Let me set the lights and I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show you as much as I can. What's up guys, Dan Frulani here and welcome back to a new video. Unexpected, a very improvised video. So what's it all about? The new lens recently released by Canon is the RF 28mm f2.8. As I said in the beginning, I only have a few minutes to show you what this lens looks like for video with a full frame camera, in this case the Canon R6 and with the Canon R7. Which is a crop sensor camera. Why do I have just a few minutes? Because I was running errands and when I was on my way home I saw two guys with two cameras. Canon cameras. Canon R6 and Canon R5 in the specific. We started talking and I found out that one of them had this brand new lens, the 28mm f2.8. Of course I didn't have my camera with me so I kindly asked them if I could borrow it for a few minutes since I met these guys literally downstairs from where I live. He said no problem, it's very nice but with the condition that I would take it just for a few minutes because he's on his way to a photo shooting and he has to leave like now. So this is the main reason why I don't have much time to try this lens and by the way you're seeing it right now on the Canon R6 full frame camera here. And this is what it looks like at aperture f2.8 but wait a minute because I left ISO 3200 not good. I am going to lower the ISO, one second. Now ISO 800 and of course I put the light brighter. Here it is, basic native ISO 800 here and this is what it looks like. What do you think about it? Leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear and the link to Epidemic Sound. Check it out and you can get one month of awesome music and great sound effects, one month for free. Now I'm gonna show you what this lens looks like on a crop sensor camera with the Canon R7 here. I'm gonna try to do it fast. One second. And here it is. I haven't moved from the spot where I was. I'm still here. Same exact spot when I was filming with the Canon R6 and the same lens. It's because the Canon R7 is a crop sensor camera that crops the image times 1.6. Therefore, if we use a 28 millimeters, just like this, we get the field of view of a 44-ish, something like that. So let me know what you think about it and leave a comment down below and hit the like button. With the same settings, aperture f2.8, ISO 800, I think it looks a little bit darker. Well, it's not just what I think, it's what it is, because crop sensor, less light, but not much. I'm gonna try to shoot a few more samples like in my studio and here outside because it's dark outside so it could be some low light test and then I'll wrap it up. Minimum focus distance, Canon R6.
thank you so much again. By the way, what was I able to show you? Well, first of all, the way this lens looks on the Canon R6 full frame camera and on the Canon R7, a crop sensor camera. So while on the Canon R6, it looks like 28 millimeters, on the Canon R7 that crops the image times 1.6, it looks like a 44 millimeters, something like that. Also, I was able to show you its minimum focus distance, which is 23 centimeters. And also, I could show you a little bit how it performs at night, like in very low light condition here outside from my terrace at ISO 3200, 6400 and 12800 with both the Canon R6 and Canon R7. About this performance, in my opinion, the autofocus doesn't really work perfectly in very low light conditions, but Again, that was a very quick test. And for what concerns stabilization, this lens, the 28 millimeters f2.8, does not have stabilization. So I relied completely on the IBIS of the Canon R6 and the Canon R7. Even though it's a very affordable lens, it costs around 350 euros, something like that, in Europe, it's not a bad lens. I mean, it's decently sharp. Let's say I'm surprised. And it's so tiny. It's like a pancake. Remember the EFS 24mm f2.8, the pancake lens? Yeah, it's just like the same. It looks like that, like very flat and tiny, so very portable. But would I buy this lens? Uh, no, I don't really think so. For one simple reason, because I already have the Canon EF 16 to 35 millimeters, and I can set it at 28 millimeters, which is not a focal length I would use often. I mean, not specifically at 28. I'd rather set it all the way to 35 or down to 24 or 20. Not to mention that I can zoom it out all the way to 16 millimeters for anything I need from blogging to establishing shots and so on. So who should buy this lens, the RF 28mm f2.8? Well, for sure, someone who doesn't have a 16 to 35mm or a 15 to 35mm and doesn't want to buy that because the price of these lenses are kind of expensive. Or someone who, when they go out to shoot, want to keep a low profile and that lens is very, how can I say, low profile. Even if you put it on a Canon R6 or the Canon R7, you barely notice it. It's so tiny, it doesn't scream, hey, I'm a photographer, or something like that, no. But besides that, as I said, there are better options. But hey, Canon, I appreciate the effort. We definitely need more options, and that's one of them. I haven't tried this lens for too long, like barely 15 or 20 minutes, so I kinda don't have anything more to say about it. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys. My next video. Oh yeah!